Hello, this is Randall Root. In this video, we are going to look at a common error that comes up when you attach a database. So, one of the things you'll see in my classes is the need to attach an existing database. By going to the databases, right clicking and choosing attach database, you'll get this screen here. Now from here you hit the add button and you go looking for the file. I've downloaded a file called AdventureWorks DW2012 underscore data MDF uh, from the internet and I put it in a folder called underscore BI for my BI classes. I'm going to click on that and say OK. Now it's you're going to see down here at the bottom it couldn't find the log file. And that's all right, the log file isn't along with that. So we'll just remove it, and what will happen is it'll make a new one. The problem, though, comes in where we're actually going to hit OK, and we're going to get an error message here. It says click on the hyperlink in the messages column for details. The messages column's hidden. That's actually over here. There we go. And when you click on the link, you'll see that it says unable to open the file in this folder operating system error access is denied so that's a little confusing for folks I'll go ahead and oops cancel uh, one thing you note is I'm not running this as an administrator if I was it would say administrator up here at the top it does not so I'm going to change that I'm going to right click in my start bar, choose more and run as administrator. If you're using something earlier than Windows 10, just right click on the icon in the start menu. You'll see a run as administrator option. You won't have to go to more. <coughs> Except the user access control dialog. And you can see that now I'm running as administrator. So I will now go through and try this again. Right click, attach, add, click on that. This is not there. And say OK. And that was it. So you can see the impact that uh, running as administrator has. In fact, I would kind of recommend always running as administrator. So that would uh, be a, a better choice here. You can actually, I guess, set it up. Can you do it from here? Open file location. Right click. Properties. Compatibility. And run this program as administrator. And that should make it open up as administrator all the time. I'm going to leave that off for mine so that I can feel the pain of other people. But you guys don't need to do that. After a couple times, the thrill's gone. So hopefully this will help you to understand a common error that you get when you're attaching a database. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.